Hey guys, Steven here. I just wanted to uh, unleash the big secret. Um, I just figured this out and it just so happens to be a very popular symbol um, seen in a lot of different facets. Um, okay, you know Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. What is the answer to uh, life, the universe, and everything? It's 42, right? Well, check this out. Jupiter and Saturn seem to have been very important to two different groups of people on planet Earth. Um, one's a god, one's a titan. Um, it, they seem to exemplify different traits of religious symbols throughout time. For instance, the red spot on Jupiter, where Jesus got wounded in the side with a sphere of destiny from Longinus. Um, Saturn with the scythe in the rings, um, the hexagram on his north pole, and the um, the in, the inverted side, the uh, south pole of Saturn has the uh, perpetual borealis crown, like a like a hanged man, so to speak. Um, I figured out that there was this Jupiter Saturn. Um, dichotomy that is the as above so below you got Jupiter as the as above the pyramid people pyramid and I um, and you have Saturn being the death cult folks um, the black cube um, lots of sixes the snake most importantly you have the two different deaths um, Jesus raised up on Golgotha, Mount of the Skull, and Judas hanging, inverted, I believe like the Hanged Man card in the tarot deck, um, inverted upside down um, at the lowest point, the Potter's Field, the lowest valley with the nicest clay because of the depth. Um, it's called the Field of Blood. I believe there, his father, Peter, who um, was named Peter by Jesus, I believe that was actually the the main disciple, Peter. I don't believe it was anybody else. I, I read it for what it was. It makes a lot of sense. I think that uh, Judas is a lot younger than we believe he is because he's Peter's son, um, probably 17, 18. I think he was the very girly looking disciple in the Last Supper, the the one that people say is John, but some people have speculated was Mary Magdalene. I believe that is Judas, and that the uh, Judas character is actually Peter, who is refuting the fact that his son would do that. But Judas was extremely wise, I think. Um, the so below to the as above was Jesus. Um, the other side of the eight, the the other serpent in the Kundalini. Um, I, I figured there had to be a you know a second pillar, a red and blue pillar. So I, I started looking at Jesus, and I figured out you know who who else dies right around that time. Um, Judas. Oh, wow! We have moon symbolism with the thirty pieces of silver. He's casting back into the temple, just like Jesus flipped over the temple um, tables that were you know changing money. Um, so you have the Saturn and Jupiter dichotomy and I was looking at this astrologically I guess you could say and if you'll look at my drawing here we have this as the symbol for Jupiter the pyramid fire and air and we have this as Saturn. Notice here at Saturn we have a hammer and sickle too. <laughs> so this, uh, the Russian flag is literally Saturn. Um, this is supposed to represent um, Saturn's scythe and the big loop on the, on the Jupiter symbol is supposed to represent a thunderbolt. I think it looks more like a, a raven or an owl, but whatever. It's supposed to represent a thunderbolt. Um, and I was like, well, 
if it's all about this balance thing, this as above, so below thing, let's try to combine the two. And let me go ahead and erase all this crap. Ah, whatever. I will do this. All right. Let's frame up a little bit of space. Forgive me for not being very computer literate that I'm pretty big. All right. So let's combine the two. Let's use right here. Let's use this as our point of connection since it's across. And just make a basically um, like an X and Y axis. All right. So let's take Saturn down first with this scythe. And then we have right here Jupiter. Oh my God. Look at that, folks. Life, the universe, and everything. That is literally 42. Because it's balance, as above, so below. Balance is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. But once you start to see these things, you start to think like them, and you figure a reflection of a reflection, a reflecting pool, the waters. So let's do the scythe on the other side. Oh, that was fucking horrible. Undo. All right. All right, and let's double up Jupiter. What is that? What does that symbol look like? Let's draw a little bit better this time. There's more of a flourish down here, honestly. But this, my wonderful wife, was actually the one who pointed it out. I thought it looked like a, uh, a pin an old fountain pin but she's like no it looks like the sacred heart of jesus even though she's not religious at all so it's fucking hilarious so she actually pointed out that it looks like the sacred heart of jesus and if you look at sacred heart of jesus it has three points on a fire then a heart and it has the crown of thorns which i believe just represents this flourish down here but this is literally the sacred heart of Jesus. It always has three points on the flame. Most times it's wreathed in flame too. But balance over balance, balance squared, balance to the fucking fifth dimension completely. That's what this symbol is. And you can find a, Nor a Norse version of this symbol that looks a lot like this that has a uh, right here. Um, these are ravens that are trying to face each other. And then you have uh, the eye of Odin that was taken out right here. And <coughs> <coughs> some embellishment right here. I can't remember, but it's also a Norse symbol. Um, meaning, obviously, the same thing. Um, it's in insane. Okay, and if you ask yourself why would the Sacred Heart of Jesus be that, it doesn't make any sense. I gotta think that people who are making this religion were a lot more Gnostic than most Christians are now, and they understood the power of symbols, just like our adversary. 
but uh, let's go one step further. The heart was actually used as a symbol back in the day because it was uh, the leaf of an old plant that was used in Greece as a uh, basically birth control and it actually got like used to death. It, it went extinct, but the flower looked a lot like a heart. Um, that's why a heart doesn't resemble our physical heart. It represents this old ass leaf off this fucking plant. Um, which literally meant, hey, I want to fuck you but not have children. So, not really exactly love. But that's what the heart symbol comes from, not our physical cardiovascular shit that looks nothing like that with atriums and ventricles and all that gnarly nonsense. I know it's like, like anything like that. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, so, that's where that symbol came from. But. It, Honestly, what I think it is is just that the spade that we see at the bottom, the two Saturn sickles facing on each other, that's all, the Sacred Heart of Jesus is definitely that. Um, which is kind of fucking awesome, honestly. It's a great symbol. Um, as above, so below. You have that infinity symbol. Um, right here... This is the water in the reflecting pool. If you ever see a movie called uh, Big Friendly Giant, you'll see the tree of life, the draw seal, and then it reflects in this weird pool, and it's like a different dimension right here in the waters. If this is blue, and this is red, and this is a 13th pillar, which is yellow. That's why the hangman has yellow boots, red pants, and a blue jacket. So yellow, Whoop. red, Whoop. blue. That's kind of gnarly, huh? So, the yellow waters. <laughs> it's a bunch of piss. I don't know. I might just be crazy, but who else do we know who has a blue jacket? Yellow shoes. And red trousers. Old Tom Bombadil. He was not affected by the ring because he was the hanged man. He represented our subconsciousness, um, something that's beyond us, our super consciousness even, but the hanged man, the, the sacrifice one. It, it, not even Jesus, honestly, um, because of that color aspect. Um, the hanged man is always presented that way. Um, the whole lotus thing representing... Uh, The whole lotus on water thing represents that as above, so below perfectly because it floats on its lily pad and reflects itself. So you have uh, above, below, and the waters. Um, this is also a you know, psychedelic plant. Psych! Not psychic, it's like I'm fucking with you. It's really a psychedelic plant. Um, it represents enlightenment because there's balance and a base which is on the water um which is yellow which is why tom bombadil is going to it at his feet and he is still able to access both other dimensional planes um it is basically duality to the nth degree um coming into balance so if you think about that symbol once again figure eight what would this be if you think about symbols well this is basically the end of reincarnation the gateway to somewhere else so you use 
a double towel because you are no longer stuck in the cycle of reincarnation. You have transcended it, moved past it to immortality in a different state of being. This is a symbol for enlightenment then, an end of one thing and becoming something more. Now, double towel, or also known as the double cross, represents Christ and Judas, or the hanged man and the martyr. These repeat themselves throughout history. Look at Joseph. He was thrown into a pit by his brothers. He was a hanged man. Look at Chris Cornell. Or listen to some of his lyrics. Um, motherfucker said, like, basically claimed exactly what G Judas claimed. I think that uh, in order for Christ to go up on the cross blameless, he could not s suicide himself and must have someone else kill him, making him cl clear of that murder. So by Judas doing that, he uh, basically took on all the burden that Christ had to take on because he took on all of Christ's sins by basically killing him. Um, on Father, went down to the potter's field, cut his stomach open, his guts went everywhere, the blood didn't stop. It was like a woman giving birth. Um, that's why Odin always talks about Yggdrasil impregnating him. There's an end of duality, an end of male and female. You have to become both, as the Gnostic Gospels say. Um, that doesn't mean anything tranny. That means realizing your spirit. He's lived many lifetimes as a male, many lifetimes as a female. Um, it, it is an end that is much needed, to be honest with you. I hate how people focus on things like transsexual. I, Listen, if you're paying that mo much attention to your body and have that little mindfulness about things higher than the flesh, if you're constantly obsessed with what package you have or don't have or what you want to be or the people that you want to have sex with, then you're a completely flesh-based system of thought and I don't want anything to do with you. It's nothing that's that important. I mean, everyone's a little bit bisexual, but, but fuck, it doesn't matter. Like, we have been everything at this point. Your spirit should have already evolved past this petty bullshit. And y your spirit inside of you is not either a male or a female. And it's ridiculous people say that they're trapped inside the body of this gender that doesn't represent them. That is a product of bisphenol A, um, estrogen coming up in, in water um, because it's not filtered out whenever women use the restroom and the city purifies that waste. They can't they don't have any filters. It takes out the estrogen and the birth control. So there's a huge amount of estrogen in our water. Um it, it is a system designed through fluoride and everything else. Um EMF. Everything to manipulate your mind to be less assertive and more docile so you don't rise up against the state. I mean <laughs> The first people to use fluoride in the water were the Nazis to, to quell the, the population of the concentration camps in the ghettos so they didn't uprise. They found they could use a quarter less guards or a quarter of the guards they, they used to use just by using fluoride in the water supply. So our government is basically copying the Nazis. Um, if, if you believe all that bullshit, I, I don't know what I believe anymore. The world's way crazier than the, any side is selling us. And if you believe anybody's propaganda, red or blue, well, fuck, at this point, y'all deserve to get fucking apocalypsed. Um, the yellow stone is the yellow pillar. It's the 13th pillar. It's what will bring enlightenment in the Stargate. Guess what that symbol is that I was drawing earlier, by the way? <laughs> I come to find out after I, I thought of it. I looked it up. This is actually the Satanic Cross. I had no idea. I mean, think about it. Whenever Peter was crucified, he was crucified upside down. He said he wanted to be born into the next world. As he was bo born into this world upside down, head first. You know, I, th I think it's because he realized that since he killed 
Judas slice his guts out. And poor little Judas over here was like, oh no, my guts are everywhere. Peter went on to deny Christ three times. I think whenever Jesus said, hey, I'm going to make you this stone on which I will build my church, he meant the seed of Peter, Judas, the stone that would literally hold fast Jesus so he didn't have to commit suicide. Um, the, the anvil that weighted him down, the anchor, so to speak. <laughs> That's why it symbols also very anchor shaped sometimes. The anchor represents the so below. The fleur de lis is the as above. The, isn't that crazy? So the pyramid symbol, this is the uh, the all seeing eye side is the fleur de lis. The anchor is the so below, the hangman. Version who dies smiling as his father's literally gutting him. Um, and I think this is to represent Uranus. Uranus being the one who basically ripped his wife open to kill his children, and Saturn being the one who castrates him, meaning all the castrates that we currently have in, in the Catholic Church or used to have as, as well. Um, I really think that Catholicism, the Pope, represents Uranus. Um, it's fucking crazy, but the U symbol is everywhere, and it's ultimate, man. <laughs> no pun intended. They seem to, um, like, I don't know if it's a Saturnian cult at, at the papacy level of the Catholic Church. I really think it's a, a uranium cult, I guess you would call it. I, I don't know. Um, but they suppress this knowledge. I mean, Chris Cornell literally followed this to a T whenever he hung himself. He always knew he was hung himself. He wrote a song called Pretty Little News. And a lot of his music videos, he has the microphone swinging from the rafters like a hangman's news that he walks by, his shadow hits it, and he like does various jerking head motions like he's dancing. Uh, no, he, he's mocking the fact that he's going to kill himself. And my battery is running low. That means I'm running out of time, and I, I could literally go on forever. Um, but I don't know if the satanic cross is all that fucking bad if you look at the actual meaning behind the symbolism. One final thing, I don't think I've heard many people talk about this. They talked about the power of words and, you know, like the fucking Holy See, et cetera, all that bullshit. How about the power of letters? The thing the Phoenicians, the crazy-ass motherfuckers from the past who had the two pillars to start off with, the alphabet that they gave us. The first letter, A. Pyramid and I. B. You have the ancient wasp to fly around and insert itself into figs while they were growing on the tree and die inside of it. Also, bosoms. See? I always thought it was the crest of the wave, but then my wife, like I said, brilliant, crescent moon, totally, 100%. D, supposed to represent a door, a gateway. E, um, motherfucker, I can't remember this one. But you get the meaning. Every letter, like W for wave, it's actually shaped like a fucking wave. Or M for mountain. Um, so each letter inside of a word um, has locked within it a, a secret meaning. Um, that's why there's 22 Phoenician letters. And then 22, I believe, on the Kabbalah tree of life. There's 10 Sephiroth on the top tree. 
Dude, I can't remember how it's arranged. Fuck it. Anyways, there's 10 Sephiroth on the top tree. And 11, including Doth, on the bottom. So 21, but I believe there's a, a second hidden um, Sephiroth somewhere. Um, so instead of there being 21, there would actually be 22. Um, and then 7 hidden vowels, which we got from, you know, our years up north in Europe. But yep, the meaning to life, the universe, and everything, it was 100% fucking 42. Remember that shit. That is nuts. You thought it was funny because it was random. It is funnier because it's super fucking not random. And remember, next time you see the Sagrado Corazon de Jesus, it is actually a symbol of Jupiter and Saturn merged together and then reflected again, meaning duality has come to an end. There is no more Vestica Pisces. There's only that yoke of yellow. So put on your yellow hat and join Pokemon Go Team Yellow next time because that apparently is enlightenment. Welcome to the world of craziness. Let me think. Any other crazy symbols that I have decoded without thinking about it too heavily? Well, I think personally you'll see this symbol pop up a lot. I know that's the power button on all the electronics. But this symbol, the circle, represents spirit. And any line that is vertical represents our path as humans so whenever you see earth you see this symbol this is a spirit this is our path and it's crossed over that's because that equals flesh so this is flesh of the trinity the body spirit holy spirit and you see one other symbol, a crescent moon, that represents the mind. So you'll have things like Cirrus in our meteoroid belt. It's Saturn's little helper, a sickle. But it's also flesh over mind. That's funny. Earth is flesh over spirit. It's kind of fucked up, isn't it? If you look at Pluto, spirit first, then mind, at the bottom, body, representing that spirit takes precedence over the mind, the mind takes precedence over the body. On Earth, it's really fucked up that we put that on top. You know, uh, Mars, which is just an arrow, and Venus, which is, I don't know, dildo. <laughs> no, I, I imagine it's a, uh, fuck, I don't know. What does that represent? Sure, what, sure, what does the plus and Venus represent? I guess it's the flesh off to the side. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, a, a shaft of wheat would be my guess, but I'm just guessing with that. That's a Virgo shit. Um... But anyways, everything has purpose, whether it's a stupid fucking circle or something like Katy Perry wearing a bathing suit made out of pieces slices. Everything means something. And if you think it doesn't mean something, pay closer attention to the man behind the screen. Um, watch Reading Rainbow, episode Little Nino's pizzeria it will blow your fucking mind i appreciate it guys thank you for listening to me rant but at least i had to teach you a little bit about uh symbolism if you didn't already know all this stuff i'm sometimes way too pompous about this shit um the idea that that, that venus is symbol represents the goddess's green mirror okay it represents the hand mirror Venus. Just FYI, hand mirror, Venus. That's a very 
satyr shit, looking at yourself in the fucking reflection of the water, thinking about how beautiful you are, and turn into a satyr. Or a nymph, or whatever the fuck. Alright guys, thanks for listening to your rant. Peace.